Hi. Okay, my hair's just being mean and not allowing me to do this, but that's not what. Eh! The flick. So. You probably saw the video. It's cold. You probably saw the top of this, this video and if you're like. WTF is she talking about? Well, um, you probably know what I'm talking about if you have seen the room tour video. Um, but I'll show you around my room because it has a carpet in now, which is what I'm showing you now. A fluffy curl carpet, which is the best carpet ever. Mm -hmm. Um, that section, basically everything which is in my room currently. Um, <laughs> The radiator's red hot now. Yes. Oh my god, that's just that. <laughs> Creepy. Um. So. Now I'll give you something to just start whilst here. Yeah, there we go. Um. So, basically. Um. Yeah, that video I said. If you look at my cross up there. Yes, it's a cross, you can't see it hot like so like zoomed in. Mm -hmm. Um I mentioned that the reason why I have a cross in my room is because I've already seen something. And that is true. Um so basically that is today's video I'm explaining what I saw. Um So just a quick disclaimer, this is not fake at all. This is real. Um, so I think it was like two weeks into this house where we'd actually properly moved in and and we were just like me and my mum was it was just me and my mum. Um, we were getting hungry, so my mum she goes she stands up goes into the kitchen, uh, gets ingredients out, and then she comes back in, hugs me, and I'm like, facing. So, so I set you like here, hold on. So I set you here like right here, like right here, where, where here, I'm facing that way, and there's a door here. It was open and we've got like, there's the front door, then there's like this long hallway and I'm not even joking. From the door, um, I saw this white, <laughs> how to explain, so it's like white skinny figure just running across the hallway like past my bedroom door. And the door is like my doorway, and I start from like here. Like the door was open, so I start from like here, running across, like where it would have like run to the bathroom. So, <clears throat> um, that was like two weeks in when we'd only just moved into the house, and my mom was. My mum went into the kitchen because I said, Mum, I, I swear I've just seen something. And she was like, Right. And then if she was saying, Right, she was walking into the kitchen. And I was following her behind. I had my phone in my hand, which I'm currently using now to record. Um, I had my phone in my hand and I had this uh, Google app, a uh, Google Assistant. And I asked my Google Assistant. Um, some questions like if you can see like actual spirits or actual ghosts like running around and I can't remember what it said I think it said like maybe or something if it is something that hasn't properly moved on from not the real world but hasn't moved on to the actual like hell or heaven um, um so it's like where it's not a ghost, like it doesn't want to move into the dark side or the light side, it wants to stay on earth and like still pretend to be alive. 
um, and then all of a sudden I was in the kitchen just asking my friend these questions and all of a sudden I just got this wave of sadness coming over me and I, I wanted to ball my eyes out, like I seriously wanted to cry. And then the next question I asked my phone was, can spirits make you feel any emotions, like sad? And it said, yes, it can if it has a very strong presence in your house. So if it, like, played, like, a very deep role in your house, like, if it lived there once, like, before it died and it felt, like, happy or sad, it can give you that emotion off as well. <laughs> so... That's like um, a reason why I have the cross. Um, I'm also a very big believer in like spirits and that because I've just had so many run-ins with them. I think it was at the other house. No, not the other house. Um, I can't remember what house it was. I've had like a lot of house in the past. And this particular house, um, I, so, my dad, he had his car like, parked on the driveway, and me and my sister and my mum, we'd all done some shopping, and we was coming into the house, and I don't know why, but I was running up to the back, up to the back door because we uh, went in through the back door because we didn't want to use the front door, so we came through the back door. So we were running to the, but well, I was running to the back door, and all of a sudden I was looking at the door, and then do you know how you have like um, the like glass? Um, things like on either side um on the reflection of the glass i saw like um a black circle behind me um and i think it was in the recent house we had like the one we moved this is another story by the way um i think this one is yeah it was the other house we had for before this bungalow, we had a house. Um, I think it was that house anyway. But my sister, she was on downstairs. We were all asleep. We don't know if this is real or not, but I think it is real. Um, she apparently, do you know how you have that motion thing? How you can play that carnival game? And I don't, I don't know what carnival game is called, but she was playing this car carnival game and like this motion sensor game. So I think it's like um, a VR game, have you ever had it where you had them um, uh, things and there's a sensor on your Xbox and you've got this little picture on like the bottom right corner I think it is and um, she said she was playing a game and like halfway through the game she saw this other figure come into view and she asked it to come and join her and apparently it did join her and it started playing with her. And my sister Sarah said that she believes it was a spirit because the game was picking up her extra body in the room but when she looked at the side of her she couldn't see anything, all she could see was, well, the wall and the game sensor, motion sensor thing was picking up like two people, her and this other person which she could not see. So yeah, and the other a spirit paranormal ghost or if you can even call it that um, happened with my same sister again, I don't have one sister it's tragic um, she was apparently brushing her teeth for bed and we were all asleep I don't, I don't know if she said we were asleep um, but I think we was at the time she told us a story um she said well she was brushing her teeth and that we have we had this mirror in our bathroom and she was looking into the mirror brushing her teeth and all of a sudden i think it was i think she said she saw this um a 
a female figure, like, no, I think she said it like, um, a white orb, and she said it, it like, flying like that, like, it wasn't doing that, it wrapped her, like, she said it, like, moving up and down as it were flying, and it, like, zoomed past as she was doing it, sort of like that, basically, and, like, a minute after she saw this black orb, like, chasing the white orb, and she said it happened so quickly, she don't know if it were her eyes playing tricks on her, if she don't know what it was, but she literally swears down on her life that she saw that. And my sister is actually extremely honest with you, like, she, you can tell when my sister's, like, lying because she starts smiling and laughing, she's like me, she has, like, a nervous laugh. <laughs> it's not good. I'm trying to lie to somebody, start laughing. <laughs> it's horrible. And you would tell, because when she was actually, um, telling us this, her face was very serious. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't good. I think my brother Adam said that he also saw something like that. I think, yeah, I think he did say so, something like that. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, because we've had. Oh my god, I told you the best. Well, there's two best. Um. We were only just moving into our most recent house and my mum, she didn't have any carpet down yet and she was like, do you know how this, you can push it up to the wall? And she said every time she shoved it, it would just pull, it, like push itself back out. And then she did this like three or five times and then she shouted my brother Adam up. He came up and then she told him to push it and he did. And then it didn't push itself away. And it had been doing this like when my mum was pushing it. Anyways, my brother pushed it, didn't do anything. And then she went, then she like told him that it was doing this weird thing where it would push itself back out. And my brother, he went downstairs and all of a sudden, the bed just moves again and it pushes itself out. And then my mum freaks out, shouts him back up, and then my brother's like, what? And she says the bed's moved again, and then he looks and just seeing it move out. And me and my sister, my mum was all in the same room, so we all saw it, so it kind of just been my mum, like, lying and, um, like, saying that and having her eyes go delusional on her. Like, it can't have been fake, because we were all seeing it. And there was another girl with us, which was Sarah. <laughs> my sister. And even she said it was pushing itself out, so... It can't... It, it, it can't have been fake. Um, and my, my mum pushes the red back, my brother's in the room. And... Um, it took me itself out, but... As soon as my brother went downstairs again, or even left the room, it pushed itself out. And my mum just left it at that. And then, fine, it won't go up to the wall then. And yeah, I think, like, not in this house, most recent house, I think, I think we were, when we was like two weeks in. Um, my sister was having a bath, and they're like nine of the shares. So, um, my sister, she was in the shower, I was talking with her, because we're both girls, you know, so like, it's not weird. So I was talking to my sister, and when she got out, we refilled the bathtub for some clean water, I came in, she was like drying off her hair, drying off her body, and just talking to me. 
and then she turns around, looks at me, and then we have this like string, like we had to pull, and it like very like like it was stuck in the ceiling, so we had to like yank it down, and it was seriously hard to do, and the light it just goes out, and yeah, so the light just goes out, and. I just like freaked out and so am I. I said, so how did the light turn out? I saw your hands, I want you to touch it. And she just played it off and said, haha, it was just me, I was just joking with you. And if you remember what I said at the start, I was nine at the stage, so she wouldn't have wanted to freak me out. Then so I apologise, like saying sorry, like sorry for pulling the prank. And then so I runs out of the bathroom and I'm there just washing my hair and that because it turns light on then she runs out of the bathroom I'm just washing my hair and then I overhears my sister and my mother's conversation my sister's like saying I don't know how it happened the light in the bathroom just went out and they're both like freaking out and then I get out of the bath and just like I don't like to say anything to them because like they've always my sister obviously done that because she didn't want to freak me out so I'm um, not saying anything and then yeah. Um, another time something paranormal happened was um, when me and my sister was in her room, um, it was like Christmas meal, so she was like decorating little angels and putting glitter on the wings and that, like gold glitter. And um, we was just talking to each other. I was keeping her company. She was drawing more angels. She was putting glitter on the wings. Um, we was enjoying it, and um, we were just enjoying talking to each other. And all of a sudden, we see like something fall from the ceiling onto the ground. We look on the ground, nothing is there, but we both saw something fall from the ceiling onto the ground. And it could seem like something black and it just fell to the ground. And then we looked on the ground and nothing was there. We looked around us, nothing was there. So we were both confused on that because we definitely saw something fall, but. When we looked, there was nothing there. So, that's weird. So, yeah. Anyways, that is just a few of our paranormal stories that I remember. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you like this or should I say enjoyed I hope you enjoyed or liked this video because it's just strange and if you've had any weird horror paranormal things like that happen with you um like if you had anything happen like that to yourself, um, or even to your family or anybody else that you know and that you know of, um, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you're having a good day because I am not have a cold. Spear my ankle, um, got a cracked rib, it's horrible, it's not fun at all, let me just tell you that. Um, Anyways, I'm gonna go now, so peace out. I hate life.